Howdy y'all, it's your boy Q, and today we're going to be going over EQ and how to use it in the context of a guitar rig. Let's get to it. If you made it this far, welcome to the Q Show, gonna learn a thing, it's probably in the title. Shoot. You know what, it's fine. I don't even like picks that much anyway. I decided to do this one because it's something that's been on my mind a little. I produce a little, so my understanding of EQ is pretty in-depth. I find guitarists in general kind of like they know it boosts, mess with frequencies, maybe help pair humbuckers to an amp better. But let me give you some of what I feel are like the essential, super practical uses you can do with these. Here's the first one. You've got an amp. First thing is it's super transparent. I want to get that out of the way. Cool, so let's, that, we're, we're past that. Moving on. We got this amp here. Or rather, we got this pedal here. It's a pedal. We got this amp. And we want to push it into overdrive. So we're going to boost it like crazy. Right? So, it, it works, it boosts. But a lot of famous overdrive pedals do a little more than just make your signal louder when they boost. They'll raise your mid, they'll uh, bring back your lows, and they might tame those ice picky highs just a little bit. So. So like, you can hear how that's a little tighter and more articulate as opposed to now of course you can mess with this all to your heart's content and get like that get that perfect blend of highs lows and stuff but to me this is a very essential thing eqs offer and this is a cool pair of eq but um graphic eqs will do the same thing so to simulate what maybe a tube screamer is doing, you're gonna to wanna to boost those upper mids a little, you're gonna to wanna to rein in those highs, and you're gonna to wanna to rein in those lows. And between all of those, plus boosting the signal, you're gonna you're gonna kinda of meld your guitar tone into something that will flatter hitting the amp really hard. Because if you have too many lows, it's gonna cause the driving elements of the amp to saturate too soon. And when they saturate too soon, they blow out. And when when a signal clips, the first thing you lose is the highs. So the goal is you want to hit the amp really hard, but you don't necessarily want all the low end of your original input. An EQ pedal is great for that. All overdrives and distortions do this to some degree, but if you have an EQ, you can just do it from there and kind of really just get the amp, but more. And I think that's a cool thing to kind of have, especially if you really like the amp you're working with. Which brings me to the second use of how you can sculpt the sound with a pedal like this. All right, that took a minute, but we're here. We did it guys. All right, very cool. So what I've got here is a Wampler Plexi Drive and we're gonna pretend that I have this in the effects loop. And I have the, the knobs dialed in a way to kind of simulate the situation, which is a lot of amps distortion is pretty open spectrum. Even with the EQ, like the EQ is cool, but you only, most amps have like a fixed mid EQ point and the bass and treble are just kind of they're just knobs on a typical like Fender inspired amp or Marshall whatever. So when you get stuck with that sometimes the sound can be a little honky a little mid focus which can be great but sometimes you don't want so much of that so this is my exaggerated example of that. <laughs> Honestly it's pretty hard to make this sound bad so we did it. And with that, now let's turn on the EQ. With an EQ, you can find where the hair is and you can almost, you can kind of dial it out. Check this out. You see how all that's left, I mean, we've totally decimated the mid, but in those spots, it was kind of where the fuzz was. And what you can do is... You 
you can kind of refine that distortion to something that's a little more exacting to what you're going for. This can be super practical when you're in a band with a lot of other lush instruments or if you are trying to record and you want to get that tone as exact as possible because if you can massage the sound before hitting your cab, in my opinion, it can create a much more natural sound than if you do EQ after. So seize all the moments you can to get that sound right on its way in. So here's our open honky chord. And then with our para EQ. So it's important to note that it's not magic. It's not gonna make the distortion magically sound different. And since I did a simulated like worst case scenario, it's not like curing it. But hopefully this can give you an idea of what you could do with your rig at home. A really famous example of this would have been um, Dimebag from Pantera. He put a para EQ in the FX loop of his Randall. The Randall's distortion is so, again, full spectrum that the, the parametric EQ kind of lets you bring out the best of it. I use distortion because I feel like a lot of guitarists like, like distortion and it's pretty readily applicable, but please keep in mind that what I showed you today, the idea of massaging your tone before and after an effect can apply to literally anything. If you're going into a super lush reverb, you might want to reduce your lows a little bit so that the reverb isn't going to be so boomy. I mentioned pickups earlier. If you are running multiple guitars in a show, you could have this set up in a way that allows you to switch guitars and not change anything else in your rig. If you can massage your pickup's tone before it hits that first pedal to kind of more or less match the other one, you won't lose the character of the guitar, but it's going to flatter the rig a little better, whether it be boosting or a certain, mid, a certain low mid hump that kind of allowed it to hit the pedals just right. You can bring that back. And there we have it. Um, what did you think? Uh, did this help? I feel like EQ in general is kind of a nebulous topic for a lot of guitar players and we're kind of hoping to bring some clarity to that. I did use a para EQ because it's all I have, but this all this advice applies to your favorite graphic EQ and they sell cheap versions of both online all over the place. Thanks for watching. Um, Q, this is The Q Show. <laughs>